June 7th, 2017. The day everything that we have come to know had its first interaction. The first meeting between Kazuchika Okada and Corrin. It was far from the last. A Corrin victory, far from a sight we haven't seen before. June 20th, 2017. The first singles meeting of the two. The NXT champion had no comeback to the onslaught of Corrin. Another win came his way. Two to nothing Corrin. At first, it seemed nothing more than dirty work that Corrin had to undertake. This became a far cry to what we know now. July 30th, 2017. Corrin, following an invasion of an NXT title match, set his sights firmly on the Rainmaker and everything he stands for. This was the turning point, where it stopped being dirty work and started getting to what we know. August 19th, 2017. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Corrin's first shot at the NXT title. While he may have come up on the short side of things, he was not beaten. Following this, there were no more third parties involved. It all changed. October 14th, 2017. The first 1v1 match for the NXT title between these two men. Okada would walk out with the victory by the skin of his teeth. This would be the final time he would beat Corrin. This was the turning point for the Rainmaker. November 20th, 2017, NXT TakeOver Toronto. The day it all changed. Extreme rules. How apt, given where we have reached. Corrin finally conquered Okada, winning the NXT Championship. The tables had now turned, but were about to get much, much worse for one man. January 28th, 2018, NXT TakeOver San Antonio. Tables, ladders, chairs. And one last meeting between these men, so we thought. While the title hung above these men, the true story came of the downfall of Okada. Beaten, broken, battered, defeated. Corrin dominated Okada. He had eclipsed the Rainmaker. He believed he had killed the Rainmaker. We believed that all had ended there, that the man had finished a rivalry that had represented NXT for six months. As Corrin dominated NXT and Okada made us jump for joy, we believed that a new chapter opened for both men. Months passed with nothing. The men were fighting, just not with each other. But one fruitful day, that would all change. November 19th, 2018. He came back. Invading the main event of Survivor Series, Corrin turned his sights on a very very old rival. Putting Okada through a table, things that had once been put to rest were now dug back up for us all to witness. December 6, 2018. A match realized to be too dangerous to sanction. The two bitter enemies met at Fully Loaded, and the same book continued to be written. Corrin was simply better than Okada, and beat him again. Okada was broken. The red hair, the long pants, this wasn't the Rainmaker anymore. He was weak. He was beaten. In Corrin's eyes, he was dead. January 28th, 2019. The Royal Rumble. As Corrin forced his way in the match, there stood Okada, ready to fight him. He hoped to fight him until the very end. That wasn't the case. Okada eliminated by Corrin. Once again, he had toppled over the Rainmaker. February 5th, 2019. One last desperate move by Okada. He put it all on the line. He wanted one more chance at Corrin and risked his whole career for it. The wish was granted, and we have made it. The Rainmaker against the man desperate to call himself the Rainkiller. February 25th, 2019. Extreme Rules. Tonight, we witness the final battle of the most bitter rivals this universe has ever seen. 20 months, 89 weeks, 628 days. It all ends tonight. Kazuchika Okada versus Corrin. Extreme rules. Nothing to stop them, but everything on the line. Will the Rainmaker finally achieve that long, sought-for victory? Will he finally achieve closure on the evil which has eaten away inside of him for so long? Or will the Rain Killer finish the deal? Will he finally end Okada? Will it finally be the last road the Rainmaker walks down? What started for glory has now become for nothing. Glory long since passed these men. There is something more. This has walked down the darkest paths to meet this. Its final resting place. Kazuchika Okada versus Corrin. One. Last.
time.